name is Dr. Stephen Middleton. I work at Adam Brooks Cambridge University Hospital and I have a private practice at the Spire Cambridge Lee Hospital. The IBS is essentially caused by an increase in the sensitivity of the intestines. So this can be the stomach, small bowel and large bowel. Classically it's uh, increased sensitivity of the large intestine. So what happens is the bowel, although the events inside the, the digestive process inside the bowel is normal, um, the intestines feel this to be abnormal and react against it. So they may feel that they're, they're actually having an adverse event occurring like an infection. In fact it's just the normal processes. And this means that the bowel will go into um, a mode whereby it tries to often eject what its contents and your diarrhea um, and that causes spasm which then causes pain. So the patients get a lot of pain, they may get alternating bowel habit and typically get a lot of distension and, and flatulence and pain. So patients will come along complaining of um, abdominal discomfort, uh, pain, bloating um, and uh, flatulence they may have a change in bowel habit, which is uh, one of the characteristics of irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, diarrhea, of, often alternating between the two. Um, and this can cause great disruptions both socially and at work. Um, very often in stressful situations, such as in the boardroom, patients will often have to interrupt an important meeting because of their intestinal symptoms. <clears throat> yes, it's important uh, when you have a patient with gastrointestinal symptoms to uh, make an accurate diagnosis. Obviously, if the patient has a condition other than irritable bowel syndrome and you give them the treatment for irritable bowel syndrome, that's not going to work very well. And there may be some important uh, conditions that need a different treatment to prevent the patient becoming very ill. So the, 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 the first key step is to get an accurate diagnosis. Once you've got an accurate diagnosis, then we can offer the patient various treatments tailored to what they actually have got wrong with them. Once the patient has a definite diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome and we know it's not, there's nothing else wrong, then uh, very often patients can get benefit from trying to avoid or limit stressful situations, although obviously in real world situations that often is not possible. Um, and they can modulate their diet. Some patients will find they're intolerant to certain foods, particularly the fibrous foods, um, so they can reduce those and often get benefit. 